are going to catch up. Something that I've been really struggling with recently. What's the hardest part of dating me? <laughs> Definitely feel so lucky to have this supportive community. If all else fails, I will be going back to Korea and just vlogging for you guys. people welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today we are going to catch up i feel like it's been a while since i just sat down and talked to you guys and i kind of just wanted to catch up on life get cozy i'm literally wearing my pajama pants right now i'm also really hungry and i brought a bunch of food items that we can just eat together and chit chat first of all let me show you the spread so we have a couple of chon or korean pancakes that are honestly left over from thanksgiving as well as all of these chicken wings they are so good they're like the korean style ones and then we have some rice because i feel like it's going to be pretty salty of course you guys know i love the carbonara product but then the kimchi one was new so i wanted to try this one a little bit of raspberry lemonade so one of the reasons why i wanted to film this video was in my most recent video i was vlogging with daisy and i just had a lot of fun going to the blackpink concert and stuff like that i saw a couple of comments that were saying like oh my gosh you're living your best life of course that was such a fun time and i was so happy but as you guys know social media is definitely a portrayal of basically all the highlights in your life even in my personal life not a lot of people know how i am actually doing so i thought i would share with my beautiful fam and answer a couple of questions just updating you guys about my life i thought it'd be cute if i went through a quizlet of we're not really strangers questions i actually was playing this with daisy when she came over and it was really fun and i think it's a great way to get to know how people are actually doing so yes i'm gonna eat this and we're gonna get right into it but first i want to take a bite of my food because i'm so hungry let's try the kimchi purda first it looks really spicy y'all already know i need to tie up my hair all righty let us give it a try <clears throat> That actually tastes like kimchi and there is that like spicy taste of the purda sauce. Oh my god, good thing I brought rice mm. Moving on to the questions. What's your favorite song lyric you can think of off the top of your head? I think it's I'm so in love, I'm so in love <laughs> It's All For Nothing by Love. I recently went to his concert. Second question, what do you need right now more than anything? I need a stable career plan, you guys. <laughs> this is something that I've been really struggling with recently just because I genuinely don't know what I want to do post-grad. A part of me is like, girl, just live your life, just travel, vlog, like it's gonna be a great time. The other part of me is like, Grace, you need a stable job. Like, you need to support yourself, support your family. At the moment, that's been really hard because honestly, first of all, I don't know exactly what I want to do. I'm an integrated marketing communications major, which is very broad. And I've done internships in social media, marketing. I've done it all, but I currently don't really know still what I want to do. And I think that is perfectly fine. Most new grads don't know what they want to do. And I know I'm surrounded by a lot of talented people who know what they want to do or they have a job already and I think that's like been pressuring me a lot but I cannot compare myself to those people because I am my own person I have my own experiences I think that is something that I need right now to be able to just be at peace with the fact that I have my own journey and I think if you guys are also going through that then you can relate but yes that is something that i need to remind myself right now also that light in the back is kind of bothering me but i don't know what to do you guys when was the last time you felt lucky to be you hmm honestly i feel like it's when i hit 90k <laughs> i feel like it felt so surreal from the start my goal for youtube was never to be famous it wasn't to work with cool brands it was genuinely just to make videos that made people happy and made me happy i was also super passionate about it which was 
obviously a plus genuinely when I hit 90k I was amazed at how our family has grown here on YouTube and I just felt so grateful I am a full-time student and a lot of my time and energy goes into making videos and goes into trying to upload weekly and work with brands and all of this I have been a little bit struggling to maintain that original motive of why I started YouTube but I think at that moment I realized that it's literally because of you guys that I am uploading videos and so yeah I did definitely feel so lucky to have this supportive community especially when I see your guys' comments like I get so happy and so blessed to have this community okay what's your mother's name and the most valuable lesson she's taught you thus far <laughs> That's quite personal. My mom's name is Jane and the most valuable lesson she's taught me I think is one of my life mottos as well and it's just that everything will pass and everything will be okay. And she's definitely taught me to be a lot more open-minded and loose on myself and on other people I think. I'm just a very type A personality where I need things to be a certain way. She would always calm me down saying I've been there before like don't worry you're gonna get through it it's not gonna be a big deal in the end and i think that's helped me a lot with like my emotional struggles as well love you mom if you're watching this <laughs> next question is there a feeling you miss i've also been thinking about this recently guys if you guys don't know i went to korea about two years ago i stayed at an airbnb for like a month and a half by myself i also spent time with family but it was during covid and just a time when i was a little bit struggling with my mental health but going there by myself and just experiencing all of the difficulties of living alone as well as just the freedom of feeling like you can do whatever you want whenever you want your only responsibility is yourself that was really freeing and i kind of miss that feeling so i have been half joking half not joking but if all else fails i will be going back to korea and just vlogging for you guys i also have mixed feelings about living alone because i am such a social person but i think if i did have the opportunity to be able to live alone in like a safe environment where i feel really comfortable in then i totally would do so post-grad Oh my gosh, my face is getting red already. <laughs> what would your younger self not believe about your life today? I mean, obviously, they would not believe that I have come this far with YouTube. Just because I was a really introverted and shy person. But I think in terms of the way that I deal with people and treat myself, I think my younger self would definitely be proud and excited to see that I don't care as much anymore about how people perceive me. And I'm able to be confident in who I am just for who I am. There are still a lot of emotional elements that I can work on. But when I was younger, I used to be very, very conscious of what everybody thought of me. I really thought that I needed to please everyone and make everyone happy even at the expense of making myself unhappy and i think that was really stressful seeing me now i think she would be very very proud of how far i've come in developing just that emotional security mm, this one's a good one what title would you give this chapter of your life So every year, I kind of give myself a word of the year that I want to focus on. The past couple of years, it's been like peace and joy and growth. This year, I didn't really set a specific word for myself. I just wanted to really just see how the year went as it went. Now that it's almost the end of the year, which is insane, I have realized that a lot of this year was letting go of the things that I was basically just putting myself into for the satisfaction of others, thinking that it'll make me happy or thinking that it would fulfill something inside of me that it really didn't. And so a lot of this Year was just prioritizing what I really wanted to expend my time and energy in as well as balance. I think that's just one lesson that's been pretty prevalent in my life recently. Just to make sure that you're spending your time and energy on people and on activities that you're passionate about and you think that will really drive you and bring you joy instead of just focusing on other people and the pressures of society. As a child, what do you think I wanted to be? We can go through. I think the first thing I wanted to be was probably a veterinarian because I love animals. But then I realized it actually comes with a lot of work and a lot of medical school and a lot of... Yeah. <laughs> I decided maybe not that route. 
Secondly, I remember I wanted to be an interior designer. I just love designing things and seeing pretty homes. I mean, doesn't everyone, but I think interior design was a super cool career. And then I also realized you have to know a lot of math and architecture and be actually good at designing. So that was another no for me. <laughs> An occupational therapist, I did want to work in psychology. I also considered being a preschool teacher slash elementary school teacher, but I think right now I'm focusing on marketing. My dream job would be YouTube. <laughs> right now, I think it's just a little difficult to imagine myself doing this full-time just because I started it off as a hobby and I just don't know what my career path is gonna look like post-grad, so we will see, but honestly, that is a dream job. But yes, we'll see where life takes us. Ooh, <laughs> here's a juicy one. What's the hardest part of dating me? <laughs> to be continued, Patrick will answer that question. <laughs> the hardest part of dating me? I suck at texting. <laughs> I have such a bad memory. Patrick has a great memory. If you asked me like what we did on a particular day, I would literally not be able to tell you, but Patrick could tell you what we did, what we ate, what I was wearing. And I think he's just very patient with me because a lot of times I forget to text him back. He's like used to it at this point, but yeah. <laughs> but I promise I try my best to be a good girlfriend. Ooh, call someone you admire, let them know why you appreciate them. I'm gonna call my mom, but I don't know if she's gonna pick up. <laughs> Damn, she answered in like two seconds. If I was ever in need of saving, I will not call the ambulance or the police. I will call my mom. Press shuffle on your music library. Explain the first song that comes up. Oh wow, not even like just say it, but explain it. So first of all, Korean bops. Ew, good one. Cereal by Crush and Zico. We're gonna go to my Butterflies playlist, which has a lot of like the lovey-dovey songs. Oh, this song is so good by John Legend. I feel like I want to do two per playlist. Okay, I'm gonna do the second one. Yeah, I love this song, you guys. Mine by Bozzy. Pop bops. Ooh, hardest to love by the weekend. Day one by Honey. Day one, who and no one else. My worship playlist. Oh, I love this. The blessing by Elevation Worship. I especially love their live versions. And Have It All by Bethel Music. Beautiful. I have a couple more playlists, but that was a pretty good capture of my music. I kind of like all types of genres, as you guys can see. Okay, we're gonna end it off happy. What has been your happiest memory this past year? There have been a lot of really good memories this year. Let me look through my camera roll actually and see. Oh my gosh, this year was insane. There were so many things that happened. Okay, starting from the beginning of the year, I went on a trip with Pats to San Diego. Here is a picture. It was really, really fun. I love San Diego, guys. Formal was also really cute. Patrick and I just dressed up and we took pictures by the pier and then we just went to go get dinner. On our actual anniversary, we did a little picnic and it was super cute he got like a custom cake which i love then of course we had korea a couple of pictures from korea here i freaking love korea guys all of the cafes and all of the cute aesthetics you cannot beat it here are a couple more pictures of me by the beach as well as my birthday when i turned 21 that was literally such a sweet time of spending time with loved ones, friends, and family. That might have been one of my favorite times of the year, actually. When I went to Seattle and visited my friends there, it was so fun, so pretty, all the nature. While I'm really strolling down memory lane, I visited a lot of different beaches this year. The Love concert where I met Alex Wasabi, who is like one of my childhood YouTubers. A little uh, event with Mel. We met Brooklyn and Bailey for their new skincare collection. That was really cool. Oh, and going to a movie premiere for the first time that was also a super big highlight of course the blackpink concert and my girl daisy visiting me in malibu and more recently i think just a lot of the pepperdine
and memories that I've made with my college friends. I want to be a lot more intentional and in being grateful for my memories, all the experiences that I get to have. So I think I'm going to try to journal more next year as well as just capture a lot more memories for you guys on the vlogs as well. So yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying all of the vlogs and the content that I've been putting out. I've been working really hard and it's really rewarding to see you guys enjoy them. So yes, I still have a lot of food to eat here, but I think that this video will get way too long. So I think I'm going to end it there. I went through a lot of the questions on the Quizlet. If you guys want to try this with your friends, I will leave the link down below for the Quizlet that I use. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I know it was a little bit different from my regular vlog style videos, but I just genuinely wanted to chat with you guys. I just feel like it's a little more personal. So leave down in the comments below if you have answers um, to any of the questions that I asked or if you just want to chat. And also feel free to DM me on Instagram and I will try to respond to as many of you guys as I can. But yes, I love you guys so, so much. I'm so excited for you guys to see all the holiday videos to come. It's going to be a crazy and amazing vlogmas. See you next week with a new upload. Have an amazing rest of your day slash night slash morning. Bye!